Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the node type, node name, and also node value. How we can see, how we can catch those all things. For example, in the browser, if you try to see here, this is our HTML code, right? Whatever the HTML code we have written previously, this is our HTML code. And now, if you try to see, this is uh, the HTML code in this one. And here you will be able to see this is a body and this is a div node and this is an empty alone text node this is a comment node and a paragraph node these two are injected by the live server fine so these are looking fine but now if you try to see here if i click on this comment node you are able to see something like is equal to is equal to dollar zero okay you are able to see it for example if i try to zoom over so i, I think you are able to see this one so is equal to is equal to dollar dollar zero so what is this dollar zero here so the dollar zero here is it refers to the current node okay current active node so if you want to use this current active node in the console you can refer this one using dollar zero so that is the usage of this one for example if i select this one and now this dollar zero belong, belong uh, so bio says this text node so dollar zero will be become this text node when i click on the comment node it is dollar zero so you can reference this active node using the dollar zero let's go to the console and i will be using dollar zero here see i'm able to get this comment node now if i try to use dollar zero dot node name if i try to use this node name we are able to get that one is a comment as that node name is a comment we are able to get it is a comment so I'm trying to use dollar zero dot node type. If I try to use this node type, I'm able to get the node type as eight. That eight we already know that this is a comment node. And the value, if you want to get the comment value, so you can use like this node value. So now we are able to see the comment. So this node name, node type, node value will give you the type of node and the name of the node and also the value of the node. So most pro most most common it will be. So this is how you can get it this one. So not only this, this one, for example, if you go to here, the text node here, now these all dollar zero. So this one will become the node value, node type is three and the node name, node name is text node. So like this, we can capture the current active node in the console, in the browser, in dev tools, and you can check these all the things. So this is, this is about how to catch the node type, node name and all those things. Now you understood the node name. So here you will be able to see, for example, if I go into this one, the current active is the div element. So for this one, you will be able to see the node name for this one is div. That is a capital letter. Always the node name, whenever you are trying to refer, it will come with a capital letter. This is an element node. So if you try to see the node type, it is a one. It's an element node. Now okay fine the node name we got it as in due so what about this tag name so for example if you try to use tag name here so this one is also returning the due so then is the node name and the tag name is one and the same so you may be the getting it out so what i need to use exactly node name or i need to use or the tag name you need to use first thing first what we need to do is what is the node name node name you can view the name of an element or a tag you are dealing with so that means with using the node name you can view the name of an element or a tag you are dealing with. You can just console the log that node name and you will be able to get this one. You may have already seen it. Okay. So we know that already there are only a distinct number of node types. So we have covered in the previous lecture. There are text nodes, comment nodes, element nodes. These all the things are there, right? So there are only distinct number of things. The node names will tell you what element or tag node you are dealing with. This means that for a paragraph P element, the node name property will return p that is also capital p and for div element the return node name property will return you the div and so on like this the node name you need to understand it is a read only property of the dom node the return value is always a capital string that represents the element type so this is an element type and it will always return a capital string and as a side note, you also you need to understand that the node name value gives you absolutely no other information. So this will now node name will not give you will give you no other information. 
for example you can you cannot you cannot find out any attributes or anything so like that it's limited it's a, it's usage is limited i think so what about this tag name property okay another uh, property you are able to see that is a tag name property what is the use of this tag name property so with the tag name property another property you can access which will give you the same answer is tag name and similarity to node name tag name will return the result in the capital letters this also returns the let, uh, letters in the capital letters so then node name and the tag name are one and the same so you may be getting it out that so what about this node name and the tag name so the, those both are one and the same no they are different so node name and the tag name are different the tag name property is meant specifically for element nodes so for example the tag name property when you are using so you can use it only for the element nodes here you have used it for the element node so you are able to get it for example let's say that this is a comment node this is not an element node so now if i try to use dollar zero dot tag name so when i try to use this one so we got an error for example if i try to use it, this one for a text node dollar zero dot tag name you are getting it as an undefined so that means so we can up the tag name property is only meant for specifically for the element nodes <coughs> to get the type of element but as you already know that there are number of other ty types of nodes such as comment nodes text nodes etc to get the name of these nodes we cannot use the tag name so that is the thing so i have already shown you the proof that so then when dealing with the elements which one should you use so when they're dealing with the element node which one you should use node name or the tag name it doesn't really matter i guess so as you have just seen when using node name against an element you are getting its tag name that also in the capital letter so either could be used but if you want to if you want to tell me the specific thing means we can probably go with the node name this will likely give us a better consistency across all the browsers so that is a that is one thing what i can suggest you so this is all about the node node property and all those things so hope you understood about this node thing and all those things so here you need to understand the difference between a tag name and also the node name so either you can use it first one is the tag name will work only for the element nodes if you are having a uh, comment node or text node or any other nodes other than this element node means the tag name will not work so you can use the node name property only hope you understood about this nodes concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you